Hi everyone, back for video two of the day and this is uh, my VR to Jeff Burr of The Tattooed Spirit. If you have not yet found Jeff's channel, uh, which is the tat uh, is Tattooed Spirit, ta Tattoo apostrophe D Spirit, I'll link it below, then I suggest that you run, don't walk, and subscribe to that channel because he shares all kinds of interesting stuff. Uh, very fascinating uh, approach to tarot uh, as a therapeutic tool and lots of other good stuff on his channel as well so well worth checking out and he has designed a really great spread which uh, actually I'm particularly interested in because it chimes so well with the tag that I'm running at the moment which is seven life purpose questions his his spread his, his spread and his tag is called highest intention spread and he says that he designed it um, uh, as a way of uh, helping you come up with specific suggestions to get you uh, where your highest intention for your life is directing you. Um, and so I'm going to do a very quick fire uh, response to this and I'm going to use uh, the deck that I've just done a walkthrough of, which is the Yolanda Tarot, which this means this will be the first reading I have done um, with this deck. So um, that's very exciting and it could all go horribly wrong because um, I'm not very au fait with the deck. So I'm just going to shuffle uh, the cards a bit more. What Jeff has suggested doing, and what you have to do for the spread, is you separate the deck into its five component parts. So you separate out uh, the cups, the wands, the swords, the pentacles, and the majors into um, five separate piles. Now, normally, if I had time and, you know, was a bit tidier and a bit more organized, I would do what Jeff has done, which is set the camera up so you can see the spread. Um, but I'm not gonna do that because I haven't got time, I'm afraid. So what I'm gonna, and also this is this is a great way of me just, just flying into it and um, not overthinking it because um, that sometimes kills creativity, doesn't it? So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the spread. I'm going to hold the cards up so you can see them um, and then we'll see where it goes. So it's very cleverly designed. So you've got your, your deck split up into its five parts. And then what you do is you take three cards or you pull three cards each from the swords for your thinking um, self, the cups for your feeling self, the wands for your action self. And uh, those three cards represent what is serving you, what is not serving you, and an advice card. So those are the, those are the three cards. Um, and then what you do is you um, pull one card from the coins or the pentacles and that's the touchstone that will keep you on your path, that's what that represents. And then you pull one card from the major and that's the universal guidance that will inspire you while you're on the journey to realise your dream. And then finally you take the advice cards and remember you've got an advice card from each of the cups, wands and swords. You take those three advice cards, you line them up as a three card reading and you intuit your guidance and support to keep you on your path. You look at what that says to you. So I think this is very cleverly done and I'm gonna give it a go. So first of all, um, pull three cards uh, from, let's start with swords. So that's my thinking self. So um, three cards, the first one is going to be what is serving me, the second is going to be what's not serving me, and then the third is going to be advice, and I'm going to set the advice card aside because we need to keep that for later. So, um, are we filming? It would be terrible if we weren't filming because I think I explained that rather well, considering I'm figuring it out as I go. <laughs> um, okay, so um, Yolanda Tarot, my thinking self, my highest intention, um, okay, you've got a small deck of cards here, of course, you've only got the swords. So, for the swords, what is serving me? See, I'm just throwing it up and I'm not, oh, that is interesting. What is serving me? The Ten of Swords. Now, normally, of course, in many decks, the Ten of Swords is it's a pretty grim card, isn't it? You know, it's the one where you just think, oh. You know what this tells me, and I think there's something in this, but one of the things that's serving me is coming to the end of a sequence of thinking and coming to the end of a, hmm, possibly a limiting thought form. So tens I think of as being culminations and, and kind of, um, you know, the, the end of a sequence and uh, obviously swords are about the mind. So. Um, in terms of my highest intention, yes, I think I think there's something in this because I feel a bit as though, and I'm, I have got a specific intention in my mind that I'm thinking of when I'm doing the spread, 
I have been doing a lot of thinking about a particular thing and I've actually recently just got to the point of really feeling, although I knew this intellectually before, that thinking and thinking and thinking is not going to move me forward. The only way to do this thing that I want to do is to just do it and to not overthink it. So that really resonates with me. The idea of being at the end of a thinking cycle, that definitely is serving me. Good start. Not serving me. Seven of Swords. Now, I think there's something there uh, in the Seven of Swords. And for me, the Seven of Swords is um, very much about kind of, uh, what's the word? Um, almost kind of misplaced thought and misdirected thought. So I think in terms of n not serving me uh, is this notion of, you know, you can keep a lid on things, you can sit on things, you can worry about things, you can overanalyze things, but you've got to move forward. And there's something very static about this image. I mean, look at the cat, it's just stuck underneath these people. Those people just look full of boredom and ennui. Um, they're sitting on a pit of snakes, there's rain clouds overhead, and, uh, you know, they just need to move forward. So I think for me, there's there's a reiteration there of the need to um, get into a more positive cycle. And for me, moving from a seven to an eight is about moving from a kind of uh, complicated mental scenario into something that's a bit more um, uh, focused. Uh, and of course, in swords, it can be quite difficult because the focusing of the mind can sometimes be a negative thing. So, um, and then advice. So my advice card from Swords is the Six of Swords. And I love this. I mentioned in the walkthrough, um, it's got a witch on it, on a broomstick, which I love. Six of Swords is one of my favorite, favorite cards. Cause to me, this is about safe passage after a period of danger and, um, negativity and so for me the advice being you know you, you know keep heading for that brighter shore keep going keep moving even if it means weaving in between all these swords and dodging some um difficult scenarios just keep going oh now i've got to keep this that's the advice card so that's my swords that's for thinking now for feel for feeling which is the cups i'm going to do the same serving not serving advice so here we go Serving, serving emotionally, cups. Ten of cups, another ten, that's interesting. Yeah, definitely in terms of serving me emotionally, I have got a stable home life, family life, um, great friends. I feel good about that part of my life, so um, that definitely serves me very much on a daily basis. Emotionally, I've got real um, emotional support and stability, which is, is something I don't take for granted and I'm very grateful for. Uh, not serving me in terms of emotions. I'm not even looking at these cards, see, before I flick them up at the screen. This is, this is flying by the seat of the pants. Eight of Cups. Ah, yes, the Eight of Cups. Yeah, for me, not serving me emotionally. I know that I can sometimes have the tendency not to look at what is, but to look at what isn't, or to look at the, oh, you know, here she is, she's looking at the spilled cups. Oh dear, I've spilled these cups. And she's not seeing the cup that is flowing over here and it's full of life. So yeah, I've got to watch that. I know that I've got to watch that. That's something that um, I'm aware of as being a thing that can happen. So advice for my emotions. Third one. Four of Cups. Um, yeah, stability, creativity, growth, um, the feeling of uh, connectedness emotionally, uh, advice wise. So I'll hang on to that. That looks very promising. Okay, and oh, I've got lost my instructions. So we're going to do the same now for uh, wands. So um, serving, not serving, advice. Serving. Oh, 
Queen of Wands? Well, you know, the Queen of Wands I think of as being uh, an expression of someone who is at peace with their creativity and is comfortable in their knowledge of who they are from a creative point of view. And I, that is something I definitely feel that I've come to increasingly recently, uh, which is one of the reasons I'm ready to move forward with something, a, a particular project. Um, so yeah, I think that attitude definitely is serving me, uh, not serving me. Uh, and obviously uh, this is uh, this is kind of action side of things. Um, but also I think of Wands as being the kind of creative fiery spirit. So not serving me. I'm doing the same thing. I'm shuffling, I'm cutting, I'm taking the top card. Another ten. Ten of Wands. Lots of ends of cycles here. So um, not serving me. Yeah, I think probably what's not serving me is any kind of sense that I allow to creep in that I have reached a destination and um, that I've reached the limit of my creativity. It's not serving me to be at the end of that cycle. I've got to um, keep going and believing that I can move forward. So that uh, makes sense. Okay, an advice from the... Oh, got to cut from the wand. My advice card. Ah, oh, the page of wands. I love this. Well, for me, it just completely resonates with what I've just said. The page of wands is a, a beginner's mind, um, a, an explorer in creativity, um, being prepared to set out on the journey, um, being um, uh, prepared to take some risks. Um, and yeah, that makes sense to me as an advice card. So I'm going to put that down as my third advice card. And so now I do the um, one card from the coins and that's a touchstone that will keep me on my path. So I'm going to take the coins, I'm going to shuffle, 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 touchstone. And the Knight of Pentacles. Work hard. So be prepared to put the work in of preparation if you want to reap the rewards of your creativity. Great touchstone. And a card from the Majors, which is universal guidance to inspire why you are on this journey to realize your dream. I love temperance. Taking disparate elements, sometimes contradictory elements, mixing them together and getting something that's more than the sum of its parts. That's, yeah, that completely chimes with where I, or what I'm thinking of in relation to this. And um, shooting for the moon or is that the sun? That's the sun, Brian. The moon is the crescent shaped thing at the other side. Shooting for the sun through the rainbow, somewhere over the rainbow, etc., etc. And, you know, there's little swans and fishes and a little cat. I don't know if that cat is on her dress or is actually a cat. I think it's a real cat hovering in front of her. Um, yeah, so temperance means a lot to me. Um, it's certainly because my dream is around a, a creative endeavour and you know you couldn't get much more creative than temperance which of course is sometimes known as art in some cards so I'm very happy with that and then the three thing I do at the end is the three cards the swords cups and wands oh no I do it with ah no I do it with my um my coin and my major so I line up the five cards so my five cards this is going to be difficult to do without um obscuring the cards so I'm going to try and do it like this these are my five cards in a, in a row I'm not gonna be able to do this you know what I mean there we are there's the 
five cards. So I need to intuit guidance from those. Now, I don't think there's much more to add to what I said, but I can see a journey there. Moving through pitfalls and dangers, resting in my creative, stable self, being prepared to take some risks and accept this beginner's mind, do the hard work, sow the seeds, and that's where the creative artistic endeavor will come to fruit. So, wow, I really enjoyed that. That was great fun. And it was great fun to do it in real time, live with you, um, and to do it with a new deck, which I've not used before, and to have a spread that chimes so well with the kind of things I'm thinking about at the moment in terms of my creative uh, work and in terms of my seven life purpose questions tag. But this was the hashtag highest intention spread from Jeff Burr at the Tattooed Spirit. More details below, and I encourage you to do it if you haven't already. Thank you, Jeff. Great tag, great spread, really enjoyed it. And I will see you all again very soon.